test the ATC code. Um, I've got the tool changer. It's just a stepper motor connected to uh, the plate with some stops here, so it's always the same position. I have five pockets. I can't do it with the tools because it's PLA plastic here, so this just moves too much. Um, I just zeroed that um, in the Z. It's all zeroed, so I'm going to start, and this is pretty cool in the settings. Uh, the way I did it is you just choose what pocket each tool goes into. I have all my tools lined up on the on the back wall labeled one, two, three, four. So all that tool, all those tool heights are set a little bit lower down in the start G code down here. So I set them all there. I do some other operations to get it all teed up. All the key settings are also in this, this uh, program start. So you don't have to mess with the, the on tool change. Um, and I'm actually doing that in most of the coding I'm doing in um, Note, Notepad++ with a G code ed editor. Um, plug-in so you can really see see what's happening. So I'm just going to run this. This runs this G code. This program is going to do uh, just tool changes and go back to the zero position for T1 all the way up to T8. So I'm going to hit run. It should... All right, so it's going to move over into position. It's unlocked the, um, it's open with the M8, the ATC, it grabs a tool, pulls it out, goes in a position, goes to a safe spot, moves this out of the way, goes back to the work coordinates, which would be offset for that tool. And you can put any tool in any pocket. Then it's going to come back, go to the, put the, the, the current tool away, release the tool, come up, move to get the next tool. Go down, grab it, slide it out. Move up, put the ATC back in a safe position, and then go back to the zero Z coordinates. Um, and then it does the next tool. So the way I've set this up is it's a standard Fusion output code. So you can just set the tool table in Fusion of what tool you're using. Um, and then those offsets for those tools would be in the tool table that goes into the, the start G code. And you just, whenever you run a program, you load it up, pick your pockets for the tools, and just hit hit run. So it's getting the next tool. And what it actually does, if you go over five tools, it goes into a manual mode where it'll bring the tool out into like a better spot over here, move, you know, move the the work piece out of the way, and then you can use this um, manual to, to, to release and put the, the manual tools in. And it'll give you a warning to do a manual uh, tool change and you know pause the program. So what I still need to do to get this working is replace this with a carbon fiber plate. Um, I may beef up these set screws so that doesn't rotate. I may even move to a better um, plate to, to take any wiggle out. And then I've got a piece that'll go over this, like a chip guard for the top. And I have to design a chip guard that'll, with some little doors so that when it folds back, we, I don't get chips on the... Um, uh, I don't get chips on the, um, the, the TTS um, tool holders. But this was really easy to do. You can see there's a, there's one bolt back in there. Um, it's pretty bent from figuring out how to do the uh, um, sensorless homing. Uh, it's bent the PLA, which one reason why I just went with some cheap plastic, you know, 3D printed. But it'll uh, when you do the homing, there's no no limit switches or anything. Just the machine homes based on the 
um, stepper motors, uh, I guess skipping steps, and the Billbotix picks up the skip steps and sets the home. So this will be a little bit better when I do, I think I'll do a carbon fiber plate here, a carbon fiber plate here, I gotta cut that on the CNC mill, and then I'll do, um, you know, this out of something better than PLA, or I could even machine it out of aluminum with some stands that come out to hold uh, a plexiglass plate that'll be about this high with some doors that'll open and there'll be a little thing that opens, there'll be a little thing that opens the doors on these so it can rotate around and, you know, it'll be all covered when you start. And by doing it this way, I haven't lost a lot of the, um, you know, the work area of, of the machine, right? So this is the center that the, the, the bit can go all the way, or the tool can go all the way over here. This is about where it would go um, if I went all the way over. So, you know, I could probably, you know, I, I mean, I lose some. I probably lose two to three inches on the... Uh, X access, but the X is pretty big anyway, so I'm not, you know, terribly worried. So right now that's tool five, um, and I think it just um, it just put away tool five, and now it's going to uh, tool six, and that's why you know you can see it came up with. Uh, manual mode, so it's now locked in. Push the button, stick the tool in, release it, and then hit continue, and it'll go back to the zero for that uh, tool, run whatever code you wanted. So this is a five pocket, simple um, you know, ATC.